Hello and welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we have to talk about a potential problem when using the 980 Pro in your PlayStation 5. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started with this. So it was brought to my attention by um, somebody in my comments that they were noticing that the Samsung um, 980 Pro was only um, <clears throat> registering as, as uh, 5,500 uh, megabytes per second. And that's basically the same reading I got when I put mine in there too, was just over, you know, 5,500 megabytes per second. But looking inside the box of my 980 Pro, I noticed this little pamphlet right here. The Samsung Magician app that you need to download to unlock rapid mode on your SSD. So after doing a little bit more research on this, um, I have... I have also put out a word to Samsung on, on, on their Twitter support page to see if maybe I can get some answers to this. This potentially throttles your Samsung 980 Pro to not be able to use it to its full potential, which potentially down the road, as more games are optimized better for SSDs, this could create a problem. And as it sits right now, I do not see any way to go onto your PlayStation 5 to download this app. I'm gonna have to check and hopefully Sony will, will uh, enable this app on your PlayStation 5 so that you can adjust that and use that because this this is pretty serious, man. If you're, if you're paying for this SSD and it's throttled out of the box and there's no way for you to change that, um, the only way to do that would be to put it into a, a PC and download the app and change that. But once you do that, you're still gonna have to put that card back in your PlayStation 5, which is going to reformat that and possibly delete that information. So I am gonna caution against picking up the Samsung 980 Pro until we find out exactly how this process can be done or if this can, can be changed. Because, yeah, dude, I don't want you to go out and buy something because I said something about it and then be limited to to this information because, yeah, this 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 is uh, this is pretty good information that would have been nice to know um, that, that, that would have been nice to know before. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like this card is reading on my PlayStation 5 at at or above what the PlayStation 5 internal storage does do. So. I mean, out of the box, without downloading any software or anything, it is working to the to the to the specifications of the PlayStation 5. But there is always that chance that later down the road you might need that extra speed to get around the uh, the six lanes of travel that the uh, that the PlayStation 5 SSD currently has. Whereas I believe the Samsung only has two channels for transferring data. Uh, this could potentially create bottlenecks or something, you know, in the future. But as it sits right now, none of these games have been upgraded to that. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I might possibly switch to one of the other um, SSDs here in the here in the coming weeks, so that I can actually get the the maximum potential out of out of one of these SSDs for the PlayStation Five. So if you find this um <clears throat> so if you bought a 980 pro and you're having this same problem um yeah this this really sucks man i'm i've i've, I've sent out like, like i said i sent out a tweet to samsung support um i'm also going to you know send one to sony to find out exactly what we can do to uh to find a workaround for this this problem so that we can actually use the full potential of our samsung cards because me personally, I do like Samsung. They are a developer of the NAND Flash, so it it it's probably one of the better ones. So if you like, <clears throat> so yeah, this this will be um, this will be interesting. I hope that we can figure this out because this, as it sits right now, this kind of sucks, man. You're you're basically getting you're you're getting shorted, you know, 
one 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 point five gigabytes a second of read speed on your Samsung 980 Pro. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.